after I have more than seven years of experience on glass fish. After you finish this course, you will be aware and familiar with one of the most famous Java application server like GlassFish. Before we start this course, this course is targeted as a beginner, so if you will never use any application server before, this course will be okay for you. By completing this course, you should be able to deploy your Java application or Java Web Services or Oracle EDF application on GlassFish. If you have mobile application, for example, and you have some web services, Java web service behind this mobile application, and you are looking for a free license environment to deploy this web service, you can use the GlassFish. And in this course, because this course is targeted a free license environment, I will talk about MySQL database because MySQL database is a free license database. So if you use GlassFish server open source plus MySQL database as an open source database, you will have a free license environment. So you can easily create a Java application like using uh, Struts, using Spring, using Oracle EDF any Java application using any Java tools or Java framework or you have Java web services and you are looking for a free license environment to deploy this Java application web service, this course will help you to create this environment. Your PC should have at least 2G free RAM. I will go quickly through the overview, course overview. I will talk about introduction to application server. Then I will talk about GlassFish server. I will talk about GlassFish domain and the instances and how, uh, what's the meaning of domain and the instances. We will download and install GDK for the GlassFish. Then we will download GlassFish open source server. I will go quickly through the GlassFish folder structure and I will explain you the folder structure of the GlassFish. Then I will go more deeply inside the GlassFish and I will talk some administrative, administrative configuration about GlassFish. I will talk about GlassFish command lines and how you can write command lines to uh, start, stop, and create any object in GlassFish. We will start a GlassFish admin server. Then I will talk, give you an overview about the GlassFish console. I will show you how you can create GlassFish instance and how you can configure this instance, configure your Java memory and the board for each instance. I will create a GDBC data connection and I will show you how you can create a data source on GlassFish. In this course, I will uh, download and install my SQL database to create a fully complete free license environment. And I will show you how you can create GDBC code database connection from GlassFish to my SQL. I will talk about Glass, GlassFish security, how you can enable a, a basic authentication in your web service or in your Java application, and how you can, read, can, you can create users and the rules in GlassFish. I will talk about GlassFish load balancer and clustering. To implement GlassFish clustering and load balancer, we will use Oracle iPlanet web server to create this load balancer, I will show you how you can download, install, configure Oracle iPlanet web server to implement a load balancer in the GlassFish. We will create a free license EDF application using Oracle EDF Essential, MySQL, and GlassFish. So if you are Oracle EDF developer and you are looking for a free license environment to deploy your EDF application. I will show you during this course how you can use an EDF Essential, to, which is a free license library, and how you can use MySQL and GlassFish to deploy an Oracle EDF. And I will show you how you can configure your EDF application to be deployed on the GlassFish. By end of this course, 
I will show you how you can create Windows surfaces to start and stop glass fish in instances. This is a quick overview about the course. So see you next video.